Welcome. All right, so in this case, I have cosecant of theta when it, when it is undefined. And when we're, when we're dealing with our trigonometric functions, the only time we could evaluate a uh, trigonometric function and we had some undefined is when we had our values were dividing by 0. So nicely on this, we know that the cosecant of theta for any theta is going to represent as 1 over y. So pretty much what we need to do is look on the unit circle and determine when is my y coordinate going to be 0. Well, on this right quadrant here, I have 1, 0. And over here, I have negative 1, 0. For these two points, 0, 1 and 0, negative 1, the x value is going to be 0. So that's not what we're looking for. Um, now, our constraint, though, for our theta has to be between 0 and 2 pi, but not including 0 and 2 pi. So therefore, even though this is an angle, it does have the y coordinate 0, it's not, it's not included in our constraint. So therefore, the only angle is going to be here which is halfway around a circle. So therefore, we know that theta equals the radian measure of pi. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you evaluate your trigonometric function. Thanks.